What's up guys? We're here at the new apartments. First thing that I'm prioritizing is getting the internet set up. We're eating at Ikea right now. We got the meatballs and the french fries and soda. We're shopping for some, some uh, home stuff. Yeah, appliances, not appliances, but uh, desks, things like that, side tables. So, but when I'm hungry, so we're gonna stop. <laughs> Break time. Break time. It is Tuesday, March 21st, and uh, it's my first day here down in SoCal by myself officially after the move. Well, I feel like I'm not really done moving in yet because I still gotta get a lot of stuff for the apartment, but. And, oh, and I, that's actually why I'm going out right now, is to buy some more things. Um, I dropped off my mom this morning. It was so cute because, I don't, know, I don't know, I was just like teaching her, well not teaching her, but reminding her of flying, like don't forget your boarding pass, we, making sure her luggage is A-OK -okay for the trip. And uh, yeah, I just felt like I was, I was the dad and she was my little kid going on a trip for the first time. Yeah, she was only here for one day to help me and I appreciate her so much because she already did a lot for me uh, for the move down here. You know, she was very tired and she was being a real trooper about it. So thank you, mom. Love you and I appreciate everything that you did. Oh, I've never been to LAX before. That was intense. So busy. I can understand why people don't like going to LAX. But it was kind of cool, you know, driving there for the first time. Now I know where it is. Not from the top of my head because I was using my GPS, but it was still being there for, it was still cool being there for the first time. dropped by the Target, I had to get some food and I wanted to try something new. And it's right next to Target too, it's in the same plaza. It's called Hook Burger. This is the mushroom burger. I got a side of french fries. It is 5.24 p.m. and I'm finally going back home. I didn't get everything that I wanted slash needed but I got most of the things that I needed now it's a 37 minute drive home I've been sneezing a lot today and my nose has been runny and I thought that if I moved down here that it would go away but I guess not maybe it's just pollution allergies or maybe it's all the dust kicking up from you know the stores from from the items in the stores it looks like there's a lot of light in here, but what you're seeing right now is just the two lights coming from the kitchen. And this area right here is actually much darker than what you see right now. So before I build any other stuff, I'm gonna start making, not making, but start assembling the light, the lamp that I got. This is the Knot lamp from Ikea. This is the Ladare LED, 1800 lumens, much brighter than the 400 lumens that this one comes with. So, lamp is finished being assembled. Whoa! This place has got lit up. Next official business is to take care of the side tables for the Xbox and the uh, Wi-Fi. I'm gonna set up the uh, trestles for the desk. The Adivald trestles so I can finally start using my desk. I'll give you guys an apartment tour, a studio tour later on when I feel like I have all the desks and pieces in the right spot like the bed, the side tables, the TVs. When I feel like everything's in its right position then I will show you guys a tour. I will give you guys a tour, but for now, for all the hard work, even though I'm not really done yet, I still gotta unpack my clothes and stuff. Pop open this bad boy right here. Joke's on me, I guess, because this isn't really 
wine. It's just sparkling cider I got from Ikea. I'm finally unrolling these shirts, hanging them, my jackets, my pants, and stuff like that. I'm almost finished unpacking. I'm actually gonna go to the gym now. Uh, but I'm gonna go check out the crunch in uh, Simi Valley, which is a 30 minute drive, but remind me to tell you the story of going to the Northridge one, because it was so fun. And after the gym, probably gonna go to Walmart to buy a few more groceries, then I'm gonna make food for tomorrow, garlic parmesan chicken poppers, and then I'm gonna make sangria. Let's talk about the crunch in Northridge while it's still fresh in my mind. I know that it's open 24 hours, so I guess I should have expected that, you know, it could possibly be busy um, at 11 o'clock. But when I went there, it exceeded my expectations about how busy it was gonna be. So I was trying to do chest, and it sucked because I was constantly waiting for machines and benches to open up. Benches were occupied by like groups of five. There's a lot of equipment there, but all that equipment is not gonna do you justice if there's just so many people there. That crunch is really messy as well. Like people would just re-rack all their weights in random spots. Nobody gave a shit about where they put their stuff, which I thought was pretty funny. I told you this earlier, I'm going to the Simi Valley one to check it out, just to see the difference. It might be nicer, it might be even worse. Oh, and also the main reason that I got a peak membership is because there's a new crunch opening up in Van Nuys that I'm gonna check out because you know it's new. So it's probably gonna have all, it's gonna have all new equipment and it's probably gonna be a nicer facility than a lot of the other ones. I'm out here at uh, Simi Valley Crunch and uh, they've got a whole outdoor section to the gym. Look, they got a field right here, okay? You got your outdoor lifting section, okay. Uh, you got basketball courts, okay. You're probably thinking like, oh, okay, that's not a big deal. Our gym has this, our gym has that. Well, the gyms that we had, in Northern California did not have this. So that's why I'm kind of amazed right now. Just got done shopping at Walmart that's what I think like 30 minutes away from my place because it's the only Walmart that has like a grocery section because it's a super center Walmart. But I had to get a digital thermometer for my chicken. I had to get a new iPhone charger because my charger in the car is not that funky. And okay y'all, after a couple hours of cooking and making sangria, this is what it looks like. That's the garlic Parmesan chicken right there, baby. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't look that appetizing. There's a sangria baby. Oh, so it's got strawberries, two pounds of strawberries, one whole lemon, whole bottle of wine, cup of rum, uh, what else? Four cups of lemonade. And then once you refrigerate this bad boy for four plus hours, you get to put another cup of champagne. So this is gonna be the special drink right there tomorrow. <laughs> 